Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aryo and I am back with another video. So today I'm doing an update. It's going to be my final one on this hair from Amazon. So this is unsponsored, no affiliation. I bought this hair a while ago. I reviewed the closure in one video. I have a 20 inch 5x5 five five skin light closure and then I reviewed the bundles in another. I have 24, 26, and 228. So since my last update, which I reviewed the bundles and the closure together, I added another bundle and I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to show you and we're going to talk about how I feel now. Ninety percent of the time I wore this hair curled or when my curls started to drop it was in a soft wave. I don't like flat hair but when the hair is starting to straighten out you can see how thin the ends really are. In my initial video I did mention the ends as well as the lengths weren't true to, true to length which does contribute to the ends being see-through. Usually when I get to lengths of 22 plus I like to double if not triple anyway because as you gain length you'll lose density even if you want a natural like sew-in it would make more sense to get two 30 inch bundles than a 30 and a 26 or a 26 and a 28 if not your hair is going to look just like mine even with the best of the best hair you're gonna need that density I decided to remake my wig, cut all the bundles off of the first dome cap so that I could add the third bundle of 28. I've always used the same dome caps every single video, every wig I have, but I was on Amazon one day and I saw this new wig cap that was getting a lot of attention. I was like, okay, let's try something different. And I regret that I did that because I made this wig in full on the new cap and I did not like the cap when I put it on my head. So I had to take all the hair off. Yes, all the hair off for the second time. And make the wig again for the third time on the cap that I usually use. I should have just did what I knew from the beginning, but I didn't. The 28 inch bundle I bought was the same exact from the same exact company as the other bundles, and it was the same quality, no difference whatsoever. In the very first video, I colored all the hair a uh, brown color. I don't remember what it was called, but I went ahead and did the same thing to the third 28. So this new bundle. I colored it and then I went on to make the wig for the third time. I was worried about making this wig for the third time that I would be stressing it out, constantly cutting the tracks, sewing through tracks, all the pull, pulling and tugging. But thankfully, I did not have an increase of shedding and the hair was the same way after making it the third time that it was the first time. The third bundle gave me the length and density that I wanted. I could have cut the 228s, like cut four inches off, and of course it would have been heavier, but I didn't want to lose any length. I didn't show me taking the tracks off and starting over on my third wig cap, but just know I do have the regular dome cap right now on this wig. I filmed this video throughout different parts of the month, so that's why you see my nails kind of change up. But like I said, I do wear this hair curly most of the time. Today I wanted to do pin curls. I really do put this hair through it. Um, I'm talking heat galore. Curling iron, flat iron, Marcel iron, waving wands, hot combs. I've colored it, I bleached the knots, I plucked I've put it through a lot and I made the wig three times. If you're interested in the products, the tools, anything associated with this wig will be linked in the description for these curls. 
honestly, I just pick pieces of hair, curl them, pin them, let them cool. I don't really like perfect hair. Um, whatever I get when I take the pins out is just what it's going to be once I finger through it. My edges are already done. They've been done since the first video. Most times once I do my wig that first time, I, I wouldn't move the edges. If it's a middle part, it's going to stay a middle part until the wig is gone. Let's talk about the pros and the cons. So I, my pros are still the same since the last two videos. The price, no smell, minimal shedding, purchase options, meaning you can get three bundles if you need it or one single bundle. Of course, the integrity after so much manipulation, after so much heat, me making this wig three times, this hair has held up amazing. Um, quick shipping. So if you went on Amazon right now, you could order it to come the same day. If not, early, early tomorrow morning. My cons would be the fullness at the ends. But honestly, at the price I got these bundles, I'm not expecting top tier, best quality hair in the world. For the price, I definitely think I got what I deserved and I'm happy. My pros of the closure, the price, the quality, the blend, durability, and I like that I can get a 20 inch closure because if I ever wanted to leave my real hair out, it could blend a lot easier. The cons, like I said in the first video, the beards, the lace is not pre-plucked. I don't know why they said that. I feel like they did just enough to advertise as pre-plucked and I did say that in the first video. But like I said, the pros definitely outweigh the cons. To maintain this hair, I do a couple things. First of all, I don't sleep in it. I like to use my Eco Styler Gel and my mousse. That's what I use on every single wig. Um, I feel like when I use the Eco Styler by itself, the edges get crunchy quick. But when I use the mousse on top, it softens it and it never gets white. The only time it'll get white is if I comb the edges with like the actual comb while they are dry. That's the only time it starts to flake. As far as products in the hair, besides what I'm showing you to style, I will use a little grapeseed oil because I like I put grapeseed oil in my real hair. Um, I use a little bit of that and that's pretty much it. I don't do a lot and when I say a little bit of grapeseed, I mean a little on the ends and because I do use a lot of heat and that's it. When I wash it, I do use heat protectant. I always blow dry it and then style it. The closure is honestly amazing. Even when I was selling hair, I didn't get closures this good. So I would definitely buy these, the closure again. I actually have already bought the bundles again. I bought three 18 inch bundles because I wanted to do a bob. So we'll see if, if that gets posted or how we how that ends up going. If you're interested in some bundles, that's what you're looking for. I picked body weight because that's what I like, but they have all textures. I'll leave all links in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.